be here. Who's in a younger year, but we kind of like that this, yeah, that he's running things. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. And this is a really good opportunity to now jump into combat because really in the game, this is gonna be uh, the first time where you yourself get to learn about combat and combos in a big way and in a new way. Uh, for me personally, this was where the game like really starts to open up to the possibilities. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we've set up a we've set up a training dummy, and this is kind of an activity where you're supposed to execute according to kind of the iconography on the top. Now, uh, what we see on the top is the Accio spell, followed by four what we just kind of lovingly refer to as basic shots. Um, <laughs> uh, there are certain spells that the wizards kind of like use, just kind of fling. Andrew's using one now, and you trigger that by tapping R2 on your controller. So mm -hmm. you can see in the corner R2. So if you tap R2, that throws out a basic shot. But that R2 is also your gateway to all of the, the uh, spells that you might slot. So if you okay. hold R2 instead, you can see how the diamond expands. And if we let go, you see how it contracts? Yeah. And so if you hold it again, it expands. And so when it expands, and all the spells that you slotted while you're holding that button can now be tapped with your face buttons. Awesome. And not only that, but over the course of the game, you can gain um, additional spell diamonds, up to four additional ones, so that you can slot up to 16 spells you know, pretty much instantly. And then that helped us um, fulfill the fantasy of in combat, I need to be able to access things very rapidly. Yeah. And, and so you learn over the course of these events you know, how to juggle not just the spell casting, but also it reinforces um, an understanding of another feature of the wheel, which is their cooldowns. Mm -hmm. So as you're casting spells, just to make sure that you're not just kind of like repeatedly using one thing over and over and right, over again, right. you can see cooldowns on the spells that he's using uh, on the wheel. And then as you progress through the game, there are different things that can affect things like cooldowns through your talents, uh, different things that okay. allow you to kind of like okay. juggle and adjust and, and wow. update those things. And so if you hold down our R2 and you tap the D-pad, it will switch between your other diamonds if you've unlocked them. And, and that's how you access all those. Oh, man. It looks like you're about to get some action over here. Yeah. So this is, this is a great way to kind of learn how to pull things together, <laughs> um, so you pull those combos right together. Yeah. Tap, Accio, tap, tap, tap. Awesome. Well done, <laughs> Andrew. And that's just against the dummy, but I mean... Uh... I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. I think now we can, uh, we can take on something a little more challenging. It's going to shoot back. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about uh, some more features of the combat system. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? We're on a PS5 dev kit here, so we're going to be able to kind of pause, the, <laughs> pause the action yeah, yeah. and talk about what you're seeing on the screen, because uh, there is about to be a lot going on. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. All right, here you can select uh, if you want to fight with somebody else, some One of your of classmates. Yeah, yeah. But in this case, we're not. We want we want that action to feel a little more frantic <laughs> towards you to really get you that sense of of, uh, of combat. So apparently you've uh, got quite the reputation because they've got you up against yeah, three people. Three, yeah, three, yeah. Off the jump. <laughs> Um, so I can I can explain this uh, just because I know people are going to go into it, but we can probably just kind of jump in. Um, so uh, you're not the only one that has Protego and the ability to deflect. The enemies do too, and we actually play with that when it comes to the spell casting. So you notice that there are different colored kind of shields yeah. around the different characters, and you also notice that your spells have different colors on them. So to help players understand kind of like the function of their spells, we yeah. kind of put them into brackets. So there are damage spells, there are force spells, there are. Um, forgetting the other one all of a sudden, control spells. Mm -hmm. And so those things for the player, uh -huh. they wind up also being a color indicator for which which actual spell to use to break the different shields that uh, enemies can use. That's that awesome. way it rewards kind of like that close right. attention that right. you're paying 
ping and we've, on things. We've got this paused here now, and you can kind of see all the elements on the screen, the, the halo around the avatar's head, yeah. each of the different shields, uh, to kind of give us a, give us a breakdown yeah, of what's going on. Give us a breakdown on. of different things that you're saying. <laughs> um, so you notice at the top uh, that we're, we're kind of like calling out which enemy you currently have targeted and yeah. their level and health. And so, you know, as you target different characters, you'll be able to get that breakdown. Yeah. The, uh, the halo over your head, whenever an enemy is about to an attack, it's, it's almost like you have a little bit of a sixth sense for those things that are coming. <laughs> um, if you see the halo, it means there's an incoming attack. And if you tap the triangle button by default, mm -hmm. then that you will be able to deflect that attack that comes in oh. and off with yeah. the take. And okay. I love that yeah. deflect where it goes off and, and like hits things yeah. up yeah. and kind of breaks things off walls <laughs> too. But also uh, if you hold the button, then it doesn't just it doesn't just deflect, it also deflects and turns around with a counter attack stupefy that actually stuns the enemy. And you can use that even in your combos and stuff. So yeah. if you're focused on a character, you know, and you're you're doing your thing, yeah. and someone else attacks you, you can actually turn that attack into a direct attack on the person that you're comboing. Back into, into gameplay here, Andrew's gonna pretty pretty handily finish these these other students off here, just win this duel. Oh, how fast it is. It's like a dance. <laughs> yeah, we really felt like the, um, we really felt like in the movies, there's almost like a, a it's kind of like a, there, there's call. this element of kind of like fencing from a very great yeah, distance. Yeah, that's and, a good call. And there are a lot of, uh, a lot of things that we had to do with, with our controls and combat system in order to kind of capitalize on that idea that's pretty unique to the wizarding world. Yes. <laughs> well, perhaps you should try that next time. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs>